Hey everyone, this is Dragonheart and welcome to my YouTube channel. Now, this video I'm going to be talking about a few things which, to be honest, I find a little bit controversial and I'm going to leave a couple of links in the description for you to check out as well. I want to find out what your opinions are on the matter, but basically, um, recently a leak has come out from a Russian YouTuber concerning future expansions for Rome 2. Now, I expansions Rome 2 already we're in December we're in the first week of December and the game has only been out a few months and we're talking about expansions already is are we going to be throwing money at this you know are we going to be paying for this expansion is it going to be worthwhile expansion now um, somebody on one of the forums has been able to translate some of this video and they have got taken some bits of information from it. At the moment nothing can be confirmed or denied so it's a bit difficult to kind of make a full judgment on the case but I've got by here some stuff I've typed up from the thread and some some bits of the video as well. The video has been taken down from YouTube so it can't actually be watched now but um, I'm going to talk about this this uh, expansion. I'll give you my thoughts. I think it's my thoughts at the moment, they're 50-50. I'm part of me thinking this might actually be something good. This may actually be something good for the game, good for Creative Assembly and good for Total War. But then the other part of me is thinking, Jesus Christ, what is what is going on? We all got mad or something? Now, the positives. Apparently it's going to be set in uh, Gaul. It's going to be Caesar's Conquest of Gaul. And apparently it's going to be multiple turns per year. Well, that's great. That's great news. I love Julius Caesar. I love his whole conquest of Gaul. And that would be a very fun expansion to play. But, um, multiple turns per year, that's great. Multiple turns per year. I'm fed up of playing Total War Rome 2 in my campaign as Rome or as um, Sparta. I'm a Sparta Cup. That's my YouTube uh, Let's Play. But playing a campaign on Total War Rome 2 and my general just dying. I just spent some time on this general, leveling my general up, getting some good retainers, some good traits, and all of a sudden, <laughs> he's dead. Died of old age. Stupid, stupid, stupid. I liked it in Shogun too. At least you had a bit more time with him in Shogun too. But in this, so yeah, that would be a good feature, I think. Um, multiple turns per year, I'm all for that. But um, apparently, there'll be other types of generals as well. So I don't know what that means at the moment exactly. I think that means. That you can have like slingers as as uh, as a general if if you're like a a Gallic tribe for instance or maybe they have some different Roman generals you can have don't really know what what the stance is on that at the moment but that's something I'd say is positive that's a good vibe the whole multiple turns um, the type of uh, expansion this will be I'm, I'm all for that I do have a lot of negatives which. I'm probably going to have a bit of a rant about it at the moment. Oh, well, I'll try to keep it civil. <laughs> it's too late. It's uh, it's gone twelve o'clock. I had to before I went to bed. I just thought I have to make this video. So these are my negatives. Um, it's too early. At the end of the day, it's too early for expansions. Six months down the line, eight months down the line. Fair enough. We've bought three months. I mean, Rome Two is in the Steam sale for God's sake. It's in the Steam sale, fifty percent off. You can get it for fourteen ninety nine. I think it is. I paid 30 for mine. <sighs> Ridiculous. Um, but yeah, it's too early to be focusing on expansions at the moment, I think. The game f felt rushed to me. Didn't feel f it wasn't finished <laughs> by any means. And now we're talking about expansion packs. Something's gone wrong. I mean, the gaming industry today. It's all about DLC. It's all about pre-order bonuses. It's all about, you know, it's all about take my money, take my money. You, you want this game? Pre-order. You want this? You want this special, this special uh, faction? Sp you want to play a Sparta? You want to play a Sparta? We'll give us some fucking money. I mean, come on. It's ridiculous. Is this expansion going to be any different to the ba the base game? I mean, at the moment, the game. Okay, it's it's improved since patch since the first patch to the patch seven that we're at now. The game has improved a lot. There's still an awful lot to be done now. 
you've only got to watch my Sparta Let's Play Part 4, which will be up later this week. You'll see a bad AI in that. Jesus. It is terrible. Absolutely terrible. The AI... Well, I, I just can't comprehend it at the moment. <laughs> watch Part 4 of my Sparta Let's Play. In the battle, last part of the last kind of uh, 20 minutes of the video, you'll just see what I mean. Um, but is the base is this expansion going to be any different to the base game? Apart from being zoomed in, um, having most of the factions we already got, playing as Rome, playing as the Gallic tribes. At the moment, I doubt it. I mean, it's hard to say at the moment. It's not enough information released. This is just a leak after all. Maybe I'll make another video in, in a few weeks' time if more has been announced and I can make a follow up to this video but at the moment there isn't too much to say about that um, but yeah is it going to be worth the money now that's the to me that's one of the key points is this expansion going to cost money is it going to be 5.99 6.99 7.99 you know are they going to try to rip us off are they going to say do something like they did with the nomadic tribes when they said right for the first week you can all have it for free but then after that we want your money we want your money because that's like that's like a lot of shit to me that is yeah you can have it for free but after a week we want your money you know it's all about money at the end of the day and that's what it seems to be to me an expansion what I think a worthwhile expansion would be would be something like Medieval 2 Total War Kingdoms now that was a fantastic expansion pack it was really really good it was like a, it was like a different game it was like a different game in itself you had one expansion four different uh, sto uh, stories, four different campaigns in the expansion. You had your Teutonic campaign, you had your th uh, Third Crusade campaign in Jerusalem, the Holy the Holy Wars. You had uh, Spain's invasion of the New World. She fought against all those Native American tribes, which was pretty cool. And then you had my favourite, the Britannic campaign. Now these all added different factions, different locations, different units. It was just a totally different experience, and you can play from. You could play the Britannic campaign. You could play as Wales. You could play as Ireland, Norway, and it, it felt different each time. Is this just going to be a copy and paste, copy and paste type of uh, expansion? Now, what I would like, if they, what I re really like actually, it would be if they said, right, you know what, we got Gaul Caesar's campaign in Gaul. We're going to have the Peloponnesian War. Now that would be worthwhile. Peloponnesian War. You got Sparta. You got Athens. You got um, Macedon and Epirus, but, they, but it'd be nice to actually have the other Greek states, you know, I um, can't remember the names of them at the moment, but have the other Greek states that actually existed at the time, like it really did in history. Historical accuracy, yes please, <laughs> you know what I mean? So, you know, perhaps, um, perhaps have an eastern campaign so they can zoom in on the east. I tell you what, how about Alexander II? Remember the Alexander expansion pack for the first Rome game? Now that was a really good campaign. You got to play as Alexander. You got to try to recreate history. You could even forge your own history if you wanted to. That'd be good. A zoomed in map of Alexander and his campaign in India. Uh, another one I'd, I'd like as well would be the Punic Wars. Second Punic War. Hannibal Barker, my favourite general ever. Come on. The factions are there already. Add the new units. Add some new units for Carthage, for God's sake. Carthage is... Pathetic. It's supposed to be at the time of the game. The way I think of it is this: Macedon has had its time in, um, has had the golden moment of its history with Alexander. That has now passed. Uh, Carthage at the time of the game is the current superpower. It's not portrayed as the current superpower. Uh, you know, I just don't know what to think of this, with this expansion. But I'm probably going to end the app, this video there. I want to know what you guys think. Is this expansion good? Is it too early to make an expansion for Rome 2? Let me know. I've been Dragonheart. Hope you've enjoyed. Until next time, goodbye.